Terry Tyler was 16 when he was charged with sexual assault. Now convicted and sentenced, Tyler will spend the next 60 years of his life behind bars. A York County judge just handed down that sentence late this afternoon. Tyler will be 78 years old when he has a chance to walk free. Obviously a very emotional scene in the courtroom today. Fox 46's chief legal correspondent Seema Iyer was there for it all. Seema, how does the prosecution feel about this sentence? It's exactly what they asked for, right? They did. They asked for 60, and these are two sentences for the rape and robbery put together, the maximum being 105. But nothing is really going to satisfy them. Now, the victim, and I'm not going to name her because the judge didn't want us to put her on camera, that night, February 15, 2019, 3.51 a.m., all she was doing was being nice by allowing someone who said, hey, I live in this building, something we've all done, let this person into her building. Then he proceeded to drag her by the hair, throw her in her car, pistol whip her, take her to a different location. Basically, there was construction, there were railroad tracks, and then he raped her, not one, not twice, but three different times. And then he left her for dead. But no, she was stronger than that, and I saw that strength today in court. She, she walked to, I think it was a mile to the police station for help, half naked. Now, yes, it was emotional from every prosecutor. The two police officers testify, something you never see. And of course, her parents testified. But there was one prosecutor, this is a deputy solicitor, Miller. When she spoke, she really said it all. Take a listen. Your Honor, today, this week, next week, as thousands of people in your county and around the state load their cars, pack their pickup trucks, to take their children to college, this is their worst nightmare. That a predator such as this defendant, that they would fall into the hands of such a predator is their worst nightmare. We're asking you, Your Honor, to separate him from the rest of us. He needs to be separated from the rest of us till he is an old man and not a danger to anyone anymore. Now, Brian and Lindsay, you can hear the prosecutor how her throat catched. Well, I will tell you, there wasn't a dry eye in that courtroom, including mine. Yeah, guys. I, I can understand it. I can see it, obviously, with you right now and hear it from what the prosecution was saying uh, and understand, listen to what happened. So what did the defense have to say in response to the judge's ruling? You know, it made me so angry, I'm sorry to say. And I was a defense attorney and I represented monsters like Tyler for 16 years. But the defense put on an excellent argument. They brought up a psychiatrist and the psychiatrist really pointed to the science and the medicine that supports adolescents uh, not being able to form this requisite intent, also uh, pointing to his impulsivity and his marijuana use. Now, the defense attorney wrapped up the argument by saying this. The point is reiterated these decisions over and over again, is that for the most part, adolescents that do create, that do commit these serious, heinous criminal acts, for the most part, they rehabilitate. Now, the defense attorney asked for 12 years. Of course, he did not get that. And uh, the judge actually spent most of this afternoon, this afternoon, this entire day was actually like a mini trial, basically cross-examining the psychiatrist, but the judge didn't buy her arguments, guys. Yeah, but you were saying, one of the things we've teased here earlier, uh, before we came to here, Shami, the judge had more to say in the courtroom today. What caught your attention about what he said? Okay, so before you could see in that video that the judge was transfixed by the videos that were being shown, uh, some injuries to the victim, and there were the, the victim at the hospital. But in the end of all of this, he said that this crime was more heinous than perhaps any murder he had ever seen. And he was so nervy by saying, you know what, defense? I don't buy anything you are saying. So that was his the words that he left with. And before I say a good evening to you guys, I just want to point out, People have always asked me, why did I switch careers? Well, I spent uh, 16 years representing monsters like Tyler, not, ha not being able to sleep at night. And today, after being in court and being around Tyler, I will not be able to sleep tonight.
Well, that is difficult to hear. And, uh, you know, certainly justice, uh, it sounds like it was served today. And certainly thank you again for the being in there for, and uh, to bring that to us today. Seema Iyer, uh, Chief Legal Correspondent in Rock Hill tonight.